60 okay, seconds. We got top brass on the set today, so let's keep it in our pants, all right? Hi, I'm Raul. How many people do we have today for the show? Ah, uh, one player. That means less work for me. And another thing. You want the seven question game or the 21 question fiesta? Thanks, you're a real peach there, babe. All right, listen up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the button that corresponds to the answer you want. Got that? Looky here. Use one of these you don't know buzz, Jack for the Sony the PlayStation. Right, okay? I used to play this game all the time back around the late 90s. It was a hit PC game before getting ported to the PlayStation. It's what I would call an almost-anyone-will-play-it kind of game. That means that if you have some people over who normally aren't interested in video games or have limited experience with them, they will still play a game like this and really enjoy it. Everyone has seen a trivia game show at some point in their life, and thus they can instantly relate to it. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, look at you playing Jack by yourself. Can I let you in on a little secret? You're gonna win. Now then. Hey, all by yourself today? Okay, let's see if you can fill up that seat next to you with some cash. Let's rock. Category, please. The selection is, look at the stones on that guy. This one's worth a grand. Let's rock. Let's say that Ronald McDonald builds a set of golden arches himself. To complete an arch, which of the following will Ronald need? A golden Rosetta stone, a golden Blarney stone, a golden keystone, or a golden kidney stone? A keystone is the central stone in an arch which holds the other parts together. Ronald usually just shoves one of those french fry boxes in there, though. Okay, I need a category. Shake hands with Dead Zeppelin. Thousand bucks if you get it. Put your tray in the upright position. It's time for takeoff. Imagine that Led Zeppelin rewrote one of their songs to explain what contributed to the Zeppelin Hindenburg's explosion. What could they call it? The nitrogen remains the same, stairway to helium, whole lot of hydrogen, or fool in the propane. Whole lot of hydrogen. The Hindenburg blew up when the hydrogen that kept it aloft exploded. This game is most famous for having the host of the show insult the guests. But I think that aspect of it gets overblown in reviews. As you can see from watching, it's not that bad. I've had strangers say worse things to me to my face. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're going to see a three-way like this one. When the correct three-way member is lit up, buzz in. If you make a match, you pack it a thousand bucks. But look out, it'll cost you a grand every time you're wrong. All right, let's get this party rolling. This three-way is known as Jive Talking, and that can only mean one thing, BG's three-way. Here's your high-pitched group of three, Barry, Robin, and Maurice. All righty, watch your buzzer. Here we go. This game is for one to three players, and the player with the most money is the winner. Every question has a designated dollar amount. The questions are multiple choice, and if you get the question right, you get the money. But if you're wrong, then you lose the money, and your opponent still has the chance to get it right. So you have to be careful about answering correctly. There's no AI, so if you play one player, uh, you'll just be playing uh, answering questions yourself and trying to get the highest amount of money possible. That 
that's all we got. Now, let's see how you did. You're the best and not the worst, but let's see how your overall score looks. One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get to it. Okay, pick a category. Well, mercy me, it looks like a this or that question. The category for this this or that question is, who cares, let's get drunk. All right, now concentrate. I'm gonna read off seven brands of beer, and for each one, I want you to tell me whether it's an imported or domestic brand name. If the beer is imported, press your square. But wait, if it's domestic, hit the circle. And to skip, hit the triangle button. Each correct answer will net you 1,000 bucks. And you lose 1,000 if you get it wrong or if you don't get to it at all. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. As you can see from the video, there are a lot of special questions such as this or that and three-way that have extra rules. The end of every game is the jack attack where you have to guess which words correspond to a given clue. This is a very high risk portion of the game and just like in Final Jeopardy or some other game shows, uh, the losing player could possibly jump to the winning spot uh, simply due to the high stakes. Category, please. Time for the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. You get it right, you get 2,000 in the bank. Get it wrong, I'm making a withdrawal of 2,000. Just one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. If it's a girl, we'll call her girl or something like that. All right, good luck. I find this game still holds up very well, even today. The sense of humor and trivial nature of the questions are really a lot of fun, and I look forward to inviting a few friends over to have a go of it. As you can imagine, however, someone playing this game needs to have a strong command of the English language and a reasonable understanding of Western culture. So out here in Asia, I'll be limited to playing this game with other foreigners. You Don't Know Jack, a fun trivia game for your Sony PlayStation. I'm the Expanded Gamer in Asia. Thanks for watching. Man, you play that Jack attack like a finely tuned instrument. Take a look at your final score. That's the game. Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself and you came out on top. Not many people can say that, but I know plenty of people who can say, 